guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're here with my roommate. Hi, my name is Haley. I don't know. <laughs> they know me. Yeah, that's true. They do know you. And in today's video, we are filming the controversial baby questions. Baby questions. Parenting tag. Young parent edition. We have two completely different views on a lot of things. Like, we're two totally different humans. Um, it's gonna be really cool to see because she's not yet a mom, but when she is a mom, like what she will and won't do. And she, we've already had talks about like how things that I do, she won't do. Um, not in like a bad way, no. though. We're just different, and it's okay to have like that's what she different said. techniques and no mom people. is wrong. Okay, question number one is pro life or pro choice. I, we both feel the same about this. I'm not gonna get too into it. Yeah but I'm pro-choice, and I know you're pro-choice, which yes. doesn't mean Pro-life? Like, Wait. Yeah, pro-choice. Okay, I'm pro-choice. <laughs> which doesn't mean like you're, you want it to happen. You don't have to be pro-choice and, and like encourage abortion. You can just encourage that everyone has their own individual choice. That's exactly what I believe. It might not be for me, but it can be for every single other woman. Because everyone has a different story. Like. And not everyone should be a mom. Yeah. So. 100%. What does that mean? Baby wearing? Yeah. Okay. So. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Baby wearing is like, you know, you oh. wear your children. Oh, like you mean like when they're like strapped on. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that was even controversial. Is it bad for them? I don't. I don't think so. Hold on. Real quick. Let's check this. Yeah. I don't think it's bad for them. I think it's actually really good for like bonding, a lot of babies sleep like that, like on your chest or, uh, I don't know. I hear it's good. Oh, I think they're saying cause like, sometimes like if you do too much, like your baby gets too attached and then they don't want to go to other people or like they'll have trouble sleeping on their own. I, I'm for it. If you want a baby wear, I don't see anything wrong with it. Like I really don't. I don't think it's something I'm gonna do all the time, but I don't see there being a problem. Like if you were that. traveling with us. Yeah, if I had like, <laughs> I'm gonna have as much free hands as I can. That's what like, I'm saying. If I can wear my kid, I have a baby covering me. So I think what we both said is there's nothing wrong with it, right? Like we're yeah, both I didn't on even know that was like a controversial topic. I need your mind, baby. The third question is circumcision. Well, you have a daughter. So yeah, I didn't have to think about this, and I know it is a like aesthetic, a vanity thing. Yeah. But it's really touchy in a lot of like communities yeah. and religion. That's why. I... See, like I know with Stevie as a man, he would tell us to circumcise our child. <coughs> what happened? Are, Are you, you trying to poo poos? Oh God! <laughs> You're trying to poo poo. Look at the camera. Listen to Auntie Haley. I think that it. <laughs> Harper, that is not nice. Oh god, this is like such a hard thing to answer. Would I circumcise my boy? Yes. I would. I know it's something that Austin would want me to do. I think it's something I'd want to do just because the world is cruel. The world you don't is want cruel. It is a vanity thing, yeah. but it's also like a hygiene thing. It is very much more sanitary. It is. And the it's, it's so, so hard. hard. It is. It's because you know a lot of people would look at you and like judge you for saying that too, because like you're literally choosing to inflict pain for absolutely right. no reason. Right. We don't. We both don't have boys. We don't know what that time has not come yeah. for us yet. We might have totally different mindsets when we actually have a baby. That's a boy. Yeah, we're both kind of in this situation together, whereas we don't have a male child to like even. I don't fully consider it. Okay, so adoption. Okay, so I'm gonna go first because yes. I think adoption is such a beautiful thing. My mom is adopted, and. I couldn't imagine my life without all those cousins that I have from her family and that, you know, cannot have babies, that would be blessed to have and raise a baby and love a baby or a child, whatever it is. But I'm so for adoption and I think it is a beautiful thing if you can give your 
child to a family who will love your child and cherish it. I know that I want to have at least one child of my own, or at least that's like the plan as of right now. But I also do want to adopt probably from other countries, which is controversial in and of itself. itself. Yeah. Our system is messed up, but there's a lot of systems around the world that are just as messed up, if not more. And I think every child des deserves a home regardless of their place of origin or their backstory. Growing up in the household that I did grow up in, I was very fortunate to be taken care of by my grandma. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mima. <laughs> <laughs> you know, stuff with my mom, just like, there are people who are put into tough situations and can't keep their kids or, you know, need or should to, it. shouldn't. Or shouldn't. People are <laughs> yeah. like, children deserve to be with their parents. But if you were not meant to be a parent or you don't want to be a parent, adoption yeah. is a great choice. And if you want to be a parent and you can't have your own children, adoption is a beautiful choice. <coughs> or if you are a parent and want to continue to be a parent without pregnancy, or just give a home to a child. child. I love the idea of adoption, and it's something I. She's so for it. I love she it. She loves it. She I loves everything so about it. <laughs> okay. The next question is baby piercing. So as you guys all know, I have pierced my. I how old was she at the time? Six months old. Yeah. I pierced her ears, and that video got a few dislikes because that is a thing that's like what the hell like why would yeah. you do that it is just for looks my daughter gets shots my daughter gets all these things would I do it if I had another girl like or would I do it again if I had to no but like I did do it and I think she looks beautiful with them but she was beautiful before like it doesn't they're just little piercings you know like Stevie and I have so many piercings on our body that it's just kind of like whatever yeah it's, it's whatever for our daughter to have it too and yeah, a part of me wishes that I would have waited till she could come to me and be like, Mommy, I want to get my ears pierced. But I didn't, and that's fine. And now she doesn't ever have to like be scared of the pain, and she already has them. I think if I, when I have a child, if they want to get their ears pierced, like it's never going to be like a no. no. I don't think I'll do it as a baby. As a baby. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Like I understand where people are coming from, where it's like, putting your baby through pain where it wasn't necessary. Even getting my ears pierced now, like, it's so instantaneous that you don't even really feel it. Yeah, if I knew it was something like extreme pain, I wouldn't have done it. I have three and three. Stevie has his ears pierced, his nose pierced, my belly button's pierced. Like, we are a family of piercings. Oh, yeah. She had to join the clan. To pierce their baby's ears, I don't have a problem with it. I don't see anything wrong with it. I probably won't do it because I want to make it like a, I want to make it a big like thing, a thing, you know, like I want, I want it to be whenever they come and tell me and we can mm -hmm. go out and get ice cream or whatever. Breast milk versus formula. It just says breast versus I know, formula. but I wasn't going to be like boobs versus <laughs> formula. I watched, we watched a video together of them, like somebody answering similar questions and what did they say? They said fed is best and I couldn't agree more. If you can breastfeed, I definitely recommend it, especially the first couple of weeks because your body gives your baby nutrients that like artificial milk cannot. If you can't breastfeed, who cares? If your baby doesn't like breastfeeding, who cares? Like just feed your baby. I'm still breastfeeding and like I love it. It's like such a good bonding time between you and your baby. And yeah, Parker needs you. Like yeah, she still she hates formula. Yeah, I've tried many, many times just because like there's been moments where I'm like I'm done, I'm giving up, I can't do it. But she just won't even eat formula. She hates the way it tastes. Me, I'm gonna try to breastfeed. Yeah, I definitely it's something I want to do, like a personal choice. So cheaper. Yeah, and I completely agree with you. Like, if it's not something you want to do or your baby won't take it, then I don't think it's a problem to feed your baby formula because as long as your baby is healthy and your baby's eating then you're doing what you need to do <laughs> we're really different in like life i know but we're actually kind of we're, here, so. yeah, we're like we're like together on this we're not the same person at all at all but like i love that i would hate living with another me i talk about this like her and i 
probably wouldn't have chose each other like to be oh, no. friends. It's just like we got just chosen. <laughs> yeah, in high school we wouldn't have hung out with each other. I was a weirdo. I was a bad kid though. You were kind I of was, a bad kid. I was a bad kid. I was stupid. I don't think I was a bad kid. I think you were decently good. You did normal. Yeah, I think I had really strict, like a really strict home life though, and so I acted on that yeah. a little bit. Okay, so cry it out method. I do not do it with her. I don't really ever let her cry it out. If she's in her car seat, sure, she cries it out till she falls asleep. I think that crying it out is not bad, but I also think that there's like, if my baby's like screaming and she wants to be comforted, there's no reason for me to not comfort her. Like, if she wants to be rocked a little or held, like, we all want our mom sometimes. Like, you still want your mom yeah. to look at me like that. Yeah. That sympathy look. We all want our mom sometimes in some sort of way. And so I believe in it, yes, and I probably probably will be better with my second kid about letting them self-soothe. But with her, she's my first baby, and I, I can't even bear to hear her like cry like that for that long. So I can say what I want to do, but I have no idea what I'm going to actually do. We're going to have to do like a response to yeah. this after I am a mom. I think you'll be better at the cry it out than I am, but I also right. don't think you'll be as good as you think you're gonna be. Yeah. That was me going into it. That's something that we've talked about like before this video. Yeah. That you do that I know I'm not gonna do, which isn't like a diss towards people no. who do it. Yeah. It's just something I wanna do differently. I do wanna self-soothe more than you have with Harper. Yeah. Think it would fit me as a mother better. It would fit me as a mother better too. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm trying to get on that chair. Yeah. <laughs> but it is something I want to practice. It's something that I hopefully get into. And <laughs> get into it? <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm so happy to see you. Mm -hmm. Smacking. I think it means like, it's like spanking. Yeah. Okay. I am not for spanking or <coughs> slapping that type <coughs> of punishment or whatever, I don't believe that I can raise my children to say, you cannot hit anybody, but it's okay for me to hit you whenever you do something wrong. My parents spanked me, whatever, it, you know, worked for them, I guess, but it's just not the type of, like, uh, punishment or, like, learning lesson I want my kids to go through. I'd rather communicate and talk and, like, why that's bad, what you're doing, and I don't know, I'm just not for spanking. It's just not for me. I grew up with my grandmother, Mima, and my dad, who had primary custody of me. Uh, he did spank me a few times, not like a lot. Yeah. I really can't even remember it. I just know it happened sometimes. Yeah. I wasn't really a bad kid. Yeah. My mother is her own separate, like, parent story. Five hour long video. Yeah. But from those memories and from just seeing how my personality is now and seeing all, like, I want to be a mom so bad. I read all about it. I watch all about it all of the time. She loves my baby. I love your baby so much. I get it. But I don't think I would feel comfortable spanking my child. I know that Austin feels differently because he was spanked more so than stupid. I was mm -hmm. and he turned out fine. Yeah. We've talked about it before and it's not something that he wants to do all the time. Like it's not his answer to solutions, but I know it's something that he will probably practice. I don't think however I, know, I so will. Said too, and I was like, let's try, like let's steer away yeah, from that. There's just so much better ways than yeah. to be like, no. We talk it out, there's timeout, yeah. there's... I like timeout. That gives me a timeout too. So the next question is co-sleeping. I don't know if you mean co-sleeping like in the bed. Uh, probably. Or co-sleeping in the room, because it can mean both. Well, you can give your opinion on both. Okay, so co-sleeping in the bed is super good for like the baby to be next to you for many different reasons. But I think that if you have like a in the bed separated like bassinet that like lays in the bed, it's safe. But I feel like just sleeping with your baby in the bed is so unsafe. Stevie and I uh, did that a couple times at the beginning when I'd wake up in the middle of the night and just put her in bed with me. 
But first of all, you don't sleep as well because your baby's right there and you're kind of like in a subconscious like paranoia. And it's just unsafe, you know, with SIDS, like anything, you could roll over on your baby, like it's just unsafe in my opinion. <laughs> Uh, in our room, she still sleeps in our room, and I am so for that. I think it helps the mother sleep, and I think that it's good if you're breastfeeding. I think it's good for the baby, but at some point, like right about now, she should be going into her own room and getting used to, you know, being away from me a little bit. So I'm for co-sleeping in a sense. I feel like we kind of have the same opinion on that because I don't really, and I'll probably do it. I'll probably have my baby sleep in the same bed as me. A few times, yeah. even though I know right now that's not something I want to do. Yeah. But when you wake up at 4 a.m. and you're just exhausted and your baby won't stop crying, then so, I'm yeah. going to do what I need to do. I won't have my child sleep with me in yeah. the same bed unless absolutely necessary. I'll probably have them sleep in the same room in like a crib or a bassinet until about six months. Yeah. And then I'll try and switch over to a nursery. Um, home versus public versus private mm. schooling. Okay, this is like, yeah. So I'm not there yet, and I don't yeah. want to be there yet because Stevie wants to be a coach probably for high school, and um, you know, our kids will probably end up going to the same school wherever he is working at the time. And the thing is, I, would love to homeschool my kids, but I also feel like it's important for uh, like their social their, development. their social life to go be at school. But then there's also part of me that's like, well, school's unsafe. School, there's bullies. School, there's shooters. Like, it's terrifying. I'm sending my kid off to a place where, like, you know, you're supposed to trust, and I have no trust in our like school system and well, you know, the safety of like the children. So I I'm for whatever, private school, public school, and homeschooling, but I don't know what's going to be best for us when that time comes. I won't homeschool. I know a lot of people who consider it and who do it and who've had great success with it. It's not something I want really to do, but I think that if you do, you should do whatever you want. Public school scares me immensely. Right? Because... I don't want to get too political because everybody has their different opinions about yeah. like the state of our government and everything, but with everything you hear on the news lately, to think that like I would put my own child in that situation is terrifying. So you're more for private I school? I would want to do private school, then again, I like you. Being a mom, you want to do everything that's best for your child, but you can't always do that realistically. And you're not going to be able to shelter your kid. You cannot protect them from everything. everything. Yeah, sadly. And like even being a parent, your like finances and everything, like private school is so expensive. You want to be able to do all of that for your children. But I hope I'm in a place where I can do that for my kid. But if not, like sending them to the top like public schools that yeah. I can, being in the best area that I can, yeah, making sure that I'm comfortable with the school, making sure that I'm active in their schooling. I agree with that. I think would just help me like settle a little bit more. 100%. So 11 is vaccinations. And this is another very controversial. Yeah, very, very, very controversial one. Um, my kid is vaccinated. First and foremost, I'm just gonna say that. Like, it is putting poison into your body, and that's so true. It is. It's something foreign that's not meant to go into our bodies. Like, we're meant to be more natural creatures and beings, in my opinion. And so, do I think that it's necessarily right? No. Do I have my kid vaccinated for her safety and other children's safety? Yes. And that's really all I'm gonna say on that because if you don't vaccinate your kid, I don't think you're a terrible mom who wants to let other people's children like die or your child. I don't believe that at all. I just believe that whatever works best for you and your belief system, that's it. I plan on vaccinating all my children. I'm vaccinated, obviously. Well, I guess not obviously. You can yeah. never really tell, huh? Yeah. I just 
want to ensure that my child is as safe as they can be and I don't want to put anybody else's children at risk. That's just how I've pretty much always seen it. Like it's never, I remember learning about like vaccinations and you get shots up until you're what like, I don't even know, but I'm like still getting shots, yeah. Like you get, you get them for a while I feel like. It's definitely something I'm gonna do. For I think you, for you, if you're going back and forth on it, do your research on both and whatever for works accredited for you. sources. Yeah. yeah. Don't go on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Don't go on like. Yeah. Don't just go on straight Google and find the first thing that you can. Do your research. Talk to doctors. Things yes. like that. Having a doctor you trust <laughs> is important. Very. For anything that's gonna involve. I you. love her or pediatrician. Your her pediatrician is amazing. Medicating children, like, oh, okay, I mean, so I don't take medicine very often because um, I don't really like taking medicine. I don't feel like, oh, I have a headache, I need medicine, oh, this hurts, I need medicine. I'm more, I'm not like vegan, natural, all that, but I definitely am more on that side than the other side of the spectrum. I prefer the like natural ways of things. Yeah, you'll have like tea and yeah. go have some fresh air. Like the sunshine is like my biggest source of like medicine. So medicating children for little things, heck no. For me, it's just not it. I know people who give their children Benadryl to get tired. Like me, no. Unless like the doctor's like she needs to take this medicine. Like she's sick, it's an antibiotic. Whatever the case is, I will give it to her. She's hungry, she's tired, she's mad. I'll give it to her when necessary. I think I pretty much agree with you. Where like, I'm probably won't give my children any medication unless it's told to me by a health professional that yeah. they need to take it. Like I'm not I'm just gonna feed them medicine. Yeah, yeah I don't wanna, tired. yeah. I don't give Harper any medication. Yeah, no, I wouldn't need it there. She disabled, <laughs> she disabled right. my phone. <laughs> so the last question is store-bought baby food versus homemade. I swore, you can ask anybody in my family, that I was going to be all natural with my baby food and I was going to make all my baby food from scratch. That sounds hard. And they make these like purifiers that like puree the baby food and I wanted one so bad. But then I became a teen mom. And then I was a broke teen mom. And then we live right by Walmart. Yeah. And baby food... I can see Walmart. Like, it, it's right there. And... It's so much easier. We have bananas. Yes, I'll cut those up, mash those up myself. Uh, I've done it with avocado and I don't know if that's it, but a few other things, I think. But I love, love, love the all naturalness of it. It's way better for our babies. But I, I can't do it. I'm just not doing it. So I am, like I said, with the formula, fed is best. And whatever works for you. I think I'm probably in the same place where it's like that sounds awesome and I want to do that yeah. but like being a mom I'm not even a mom yet and I watch you get exhausted from everything everything you're so tired all the time which is fine because you have this new oh baby. I love it though like being a mom's the best yeah ever. it's the best thing that's ever happened to you but you're still tired She's all the tired. time yeah and so I know that I'll probably be the same way. I'll probably be exhausted all of the time. But if you can do it, totally do it. Yeah. If I have dope. the if I have the money and I have time, the resources, the necessary <laughs> tools, then yes, I will Holy. try my very bestest to make Ooh. natural homemade baby food. Anyways, that is it for today's video. We actually had a lot more in common in this video than I thought we were going to. Yeah, I thought we were gonna like totally disagree on a lot just of things. We're so we are so different, but if you think about it, like, pretty much just be the best mom. That's like, yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to try to be. I know that's what you're doing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see more videos of us together, like this video up. Don't forget to subscribe. Like I already said, like up this video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos coming from us. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you end it. Thought I'd end up with Sean, <laughs> but he wasn't a match. Wrote some songs about me, now I'm listening in love. <laughs>
Even almost got married And for Pete I'm so thankful Wish I could say thank you to Malcolm Cause he was an angel What did you just say? <laughs> I look dumb thick on camera <laughs> Look at my baby You know um, Don't know what I'm saying, hold on <laughs> English, it's hard sometimes Cut, okay uh, Okay Question <laughs> So awkward. Sure. <laughs> Get some PowerPoint transition. I flicked it off. <laughs> that was me. You have to cut that out. Middle That's fine. Fingers up. Little in up. Put it in his face. Tell him, boy. Okay. Anyways. Oh, you could. Do you remember that thing in middle school where people would be like, peace and love? That's so lame, though. You shouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> you still make me. Do